My birthday was September 9th, so I had just turned nine. My dad was one of the 23 police officers. His name is Ramon Suarez. I miss him a lot. I really do. Seeing his name in the memorial, it means everything. On September 11th, 2001, the World Trade Center was attacked. It became known as Ground Zero. After years of hard work and rebuilding, the entire site has been transformed into one of beauty and of remembrance. At its heart is the National 9-11 Memorial. Millions of visitors from all around the world come to this site to pay their respects each year. What they see are two enormous reflecting pools that sit in the very footprints of where the Twin Towers stood. The pools are surrounded by bronze panels inscribed with the names of the nearly 3,000 people who died in the attacks of 2001 and the World Trade Center bombing in 1993. When you come to the memorial, you come up to the edge of each one of these voids and you see this enormous empty space in front of you. It's a space that can't be filled and will not be filled. It is there where you encounter the names of the dead. First, the impression you have as a, a visitor is how many names there are. It's a sea of names over an ocean of tears. The Memorial Plaza, made up of hundreds of swamp white oak trees, surrounds the memorial pools. One tree is different. It is a calorie pear tree, now known as the survivor tree. This tree was at the site on September 11, 2001, discovered in a pile of rubble by some recovery workers. It was nursed back to health and returned here. And in some sense, it really embodies the whole experience of 9-11 in a living being. It is damaged, but it also shows a tremendous amount of new growth. And now there are no words to describe how bad it was. The massive debris field, the smell of death completely took over your whole being. To work out of that to where we are now, it was a slow, hard process. As bad as 9-11 was, it demonstrated that when the times require, we do have the capacity to come together and take care of each other with limitless compassion. I remember that day. I remember where I was and what I was doing. My generation, we remember growing up with it. It's like you were part of history. Makes me very proud to know that my dad went out the way for strangers. That's what I call a hero. Nobody ever wants to forget those people that passed away that day. Those people were brothers, wives, mothers, sisters, friends, and those people should be remembered in every way possible. Every single person that comes here is making a contribution. You truly are our future. Thank you.